This is Mrs. Abia with Lesson 6, Identifying Proportional and Non-Proportional Relationships in Graphs. You do not need to copy the essential question. For a science project, Eli decided to study colonies of mold. He observed a piece of bread that was molding. The ratios represent the number of days passed to the number of colonies of mold on the bread. Create a table and then a graph and explain if the quantities are proportional to each other. So we have our data, days passed, compared to the colonies of mold. Pause the video and copy this data onto your paper, and then we will continue. Next, we're going to make a table with the data. Keep in mind that your data table could look like this with your x and your y variable, or it could look like this with your x and y data. So we're going to go ahead and do the second one. And we're keeping track of the days passed and the colonies of mold. And we know that x is our independent variable and y is our dependent variable. And our mold is dependent on how many days growth were allowed. So y is going to be the mold and x is the number of days. So the amount of mold depends on how many days it was growing. So our first ratio is 1 to 1. One day, one colony of mold. 2 to 4, 2 days, 4 colonies of mold. 3 days, 9 colonies of mold. 4 days, 16 colonies of mold and 25 colonies on the fifth day. Five days, 25. Next, we're going to graph the data. So we have our x-axis and our y-axis, and our x-axis is the number of days, and the y-axis represents the colonies of mold. The number of days ranges from one to five. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then the y-axis is the colonies of mold. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And then we'll graph our order pairs. So our first order pair is 1, 1. So we go over 1 and up 1. Our second order pair is 2, 4. We go over 2 and up 4. And then our third order pair is 3, 9. Over 3 and up to 9. Uh, order pairs for 16, over 4 and up 16, over 5 and up 25. Next, we graph our data. And this would be uh, colonies of mold, could be our tuple. Our next question is Is the data proportional? Now, we know in a graph the data is proportional if the dots appear to be in a straight line and pass through the origin. So if we look at the way these data points would connect, it looks more like it would be a nice curve. And it looks like it might pass through the origin, I'm not sure. But remember, it has to be a straight line. Is it a straight line? No, since it is not a straight line, this data is not proportional. Remember that you can tell this by looking at the data pairs as well. 
Notice here that 25 divided by 5 is 5. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Notice that you're getting a different unit rate with each pair. It's a nice pattern, but it is not the same unit rate. So looking at our data just confirms that this is not a proportional relationship. That concludes our lesson six.